room and has the story. Mario. Today here at the Campbell County Courthouse, the year-long case came to an end. We're talking about a felony charge of terroristic threatening. Normally, the courts do not take this very lightly, but today I can tell you that the judge showed some leniency here. The 21-year-old uh, Tyler Swope will now spend six months behind bars for calling in the bomb threat last year. He got five years on probation, but the max he could have received was 10 years in prison. The morning of January 15th, Highlands High School was evacuated when the school got a call from what administrators describe as a robotic and a computerized voice. It caused a really big disruption to both the high school and the middle school. No one was injured, and the threat turned out to be bogus, but the Fort Mitchell Police Department spent two months investigating before tracing that call back to Swope. What can be accomplished for this young man is for him to be on probation and for him to, to, to remain on probation for five years and, and with all of those conditions and the counseling. And I think at the end of that road, I think you're going to have a guy that will never, ever be back in one of these courtrooms as a defendant. The former Highlands High School student will also have to pay a $2,500 fee and serve 5,000 hours of community service. Uh, but it was ultimately the judge's decision, and he decided that five years uh, wasn't needed to prove a point. But prosecutors say this wasn't the first time he's done this, making at least six similar calls in the past. For now, live in Newport, Mario Ramirez, not on your side.